there, my name's Paul Church from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Welcome to another edition of YouTube Tuesday. Today I want to introduce you to our brand new collection of fresh cut dies. These are the beautiful Aperture collection um, that we've got here. Recently launched um, and absolutely stunning designs. Let me talk you through them so you can see exactly what we've got available at the moment. So, going from the left to right, we've got the wild seed heads, we have the wild privet, we have the poppy seed heads, the beautiful Queen Dan's lace, honesty, Chinese lantern, one of my favourites, the mountain ash, and the beautiful Casablanca lilies. So, what are we going to do today? Well, I just want to give you a really sort of a lovely demo just to show you some of the things that you can do. So, let me bring this card in, and this is what we're going to go for today. So I hope you can join me. Right, okay, so let's get started. First of all, the idea behind our beautiful aperture dies is that what we want to do is it gives a beautiful effect of paper cut, but by using a die, it makes it so much easier. So let's choose a design. I think I'm gonna go with, oh, which one should I go with? I think I'm gonna go with the Chinese lanterns for this one. So what we're gonna to do to start with, obviously we need to cut out our design. So I'm gonna take a card blank. So these are our lovely um, card blanks we have on our website. And I'm using the Gemini machine. Now, one of the great things about the Gemini machine, it has equal pressure. Um, they have been designed to work in all leading die cutting machines. Um, so if you've got other machines already, then they'll work perfectly. So I'm gonna position this just in the middle of my card blank. I'm gonna put my magnetic sheet over the top just to hold it in place, and the clear mat just on top. So let's run it through the Gemini and see what effect we get. So here we go, here's the big reveal. So you can see how easily the dies just come off straight away. So next, what I'm gonna do, remove all the plates. And for me, this is, I love this bit, this is the magic. So I'm gonna use the tool in one and you'll see, look how easy they just fall away from all of the different parts of the die. So we're just gonna get rid of all the little bits. Now again, if you want to, what you could do is you could keep all these parts and you could reuse them for paper piecing. So we'll just get rid of all the, the lovely little bits inside. And if I just bring a piece of black card in underneath, you'll see how beautiful that is when it's cut out. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a frame to go around the outside of our card. So it gives the effect of matting and layering. So we'll bring the, um, the plates back into play. And this time I'm gonna use a piece of our designer paper. Now with our designer paper, it's decisions, decisions. I'm looking at the um, Indian Summer Collection here. This is one of my favorites. So when you go through um, and you'll see all these stunning designs created by Barbara Gray. So the hardest part for me on this project is choosing which colorways. And I think I'm gonna go for this one. So we'll take a piece of paper and we're gonna position that onto our metal plate. And then I'm gonna take two of our nested squares. Make sure that the dies are facing downwards so that you don't cut into your magnetic sheet. And then you can use some um, low tack tape to hold them in place. What I'm actually gonna use is some groovy tabs. So take your groovy tabs and position your die into place. And we can just move that around a little bit just so that we get a nice equal border. Now, if you're not sure about doing it both of them together, you can do cut the main square out first and then you can cut out the aperture in the middle. But just to save time, I'm gonna do both together. So we'll put it back through the Gemini machine. And again, We'll open up the plates and reveal our design. So I've got a really nice and simple 
um, frame and I've also got the inner part as well. So we can finish with the dies. So we're going to put those to one side. And now we're going to start to create the beautiful card. So to start off with, what I want to do is if I bring my card back into play, I want to put some glitter behind it because, because you've got this beautiful aperture card, you can either, if I just fold it in half, you'll see how it just works perfectly as a beautiful paper cut design. But I want to sort of enhance this, so I'm going to use the designer papers with some glitter. So to start off with, I need a sheet of self-adhesive, double-sided. And all I need to do is just trim that down so it's slightly smaller than the square that we created. So we'll bring in our paper trimmer. And I reckon that's about there. So let's see. Perfect. So that's going to hold that in place. And it's big enough that it's actually going to cover up my um, design. So there's a couple of ways to work with this. I can decide if I want to go really dark or I'm going to go lighter. I think on this occasion, I want a really sort of not dark space behind my design. So the best way of um, attaching the double sided, if I was to take this and stick this down now, what's going to happen is that it's going to stick to my work surface, which I don't want because then I've wasted my cart. So the carrier sheet that you've taken off, is nice and shiny. So if we position that underneath, then what we can do when we position our double-sided adhesive in place, I can now press that down and not be worried about it sticking to my surface. There we go, perfect. So here comes the sparkle. So let's grab our Perga glitter. Now our Perga glitter comes in a box set, absolutely stunning. Um, it's ultra fine. And we've got six different colorways in here. Um, we've got a hint of blue, a hint of green, a hint of copper, a hint of gold, a hint of silver, and a hint of pink. Now what's special about our glitter is that they are ultra fine, they're translucent, and they're anti-static. So you think, oh, anti-static, what's so special about that? Well, with the anti-static glitter, it means that when you take the lid off, there's no glitter anywhere. Um, so all I'm going to do, I've chosen the hint of blue and I'm going to sprinkle that over my double sided adhesive sheet that's coming through the aperture and then my finger, I'm just going to gently just rub that into place. Now, believe it or not, I'm not really a sparkly person, um, but I love using this glitter because it doesn't stick everywhere and keep finding it days on end. Look, there's no glitter on my hands at all. So before I put the lid on, I'm going to get rid of the excess. So we'll just put a piece of paper underneath to catch it. Give it a quick tap. There we go. And we'll put this safely back in the pot so that we don't spill it everywhere. So again, if you've used glitter before, um, you'll know that when you um, shake off your paper, it's where it's static, it just sticks everywhere. There's nothing on there at all. Perfect. Right, so now we've got our um, glitter in place. What we're going to do next is um, we're going to take off the reverse, the other side of the double-sided tape. So I'm going to use the pokey tool from the tool in one. Okay, there we go. Just grab that on the end just to get us going. There we go, we've got that lovely reveal. Now I'm putting backing paper behind here, but you could actually put a piece of acetate so then the light would come through. So the piece of um, designer paper we cut out from earlier, we're gonna position that in the middle. So on the inside of the card, it's nice and clean, nice and tidy, and it doesn't look ugly. So we turn that over and we've now got those beautiful hues of blue coming through enhanced by the glitter. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take the frame that we created and again I can decide whether I want it more vibrant or I want it softer. So I think for this one because we've now muted down the colour with the glitter we're going to go with the softer side. So I'm going to take my tape runner and I'm just going to go very very slowly along the frame 
And because this is paper, if you go too fast, what can happen is that your paper will actually rip. Okay, so here we go. One more side to go. And this is sort of super sticky, this double-sided adhesive. And it's perfect. But it does, which I found out, give you a bit of repositioning time. So I'm just going to place that over onto the card. And you can see I can still move it around until I'm happy with where I want it to be. So I think I need to come over just a fraction more. Here we go. It'd be easy if I use two hands rather than one. And we're, I'm happy with that position there. So I can gently press that down. So now, by putting this outer frame on it, what it does, it gives you the illusion of matting and layering, but the card is completely flat, and all we've used is the card blank and a piece of the designer paper. So to finish off the card, what I want to do is um, put a greeting on it. So we've got some sets of beautiful word chain stamps on our website. So I'm gonna use birthday, and I'm gonna use happy. And what I've done, I've got a couple of offcuts, you know what we like with offcuts, we've all got offcuts of card that we never throw away because we know one day we're gonna use them. So I'll take um, black archival and I'm gonna ink up my stamp. And on this one, I'm gonna stamp birthday. And again, with the word chains, there's uh, so many different words and you can build up your own greetings um, we also do a lovely word chain alphabet as well. So if you wanted to personalize your card, then it's perfect for that. So we've stamped out onto our paper. And then the next thing we would do is we would um, trim these down and mat mount. We would trim these down and then we'll mat and layer onto white card. Okay. And then the finishing touch on this is we can then just position our words wherever we want to. So I'm gonna put those at a slight jaunty angle. The jaunty angle is really good because <laughs> I'm rubbish at getting things lined up. So here we go. So we've got happy and we've got birthday. And this just, for me, the dies are how quick you can make a card. So if we turn that round, and I'm gonna bring in the other one that I've also done that we, I showed you earlier, just so you can see the comparisons on the different cards. So I hope you've enjoyed today's session. Um, if you like what I've done, please leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. Um, Barbara Gray um, blogs every single day. And if you like the products that I've used today, then um, they're all available on the Clarity Stamp website. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.